the museum, Secret of the Tomb is actually a really great family film. I found there was something for everyone and I loved the calmness of this film compared to just the chaotic mess of the second film really just chaotic and messy so I was a little bit dubious when I came in to watch this one thinking please don't do the same and it didn't it was very calm and it was collected and I really enjoyed that so I could just sit down and just have a giggle and really just enjoy this for the family film that it was and I think Night of the Museum is really great for kids it's a really great film for their imagination and even for adults with their inner child you know it's all about the imagination and this film is set in my uh, you know capital city my home country England it's set in London and it was just really lovely to see the lions in Trafalgar Square come to life you know that's something that I've been imagining since I was like a tiny little child when I took my first trip to London I saw those lions I thought just imagine if they came to life right now what would we do <laughs> you see all the pigeons scattering <laughs> and that's the sort of thing I always would see you know I'd go around London I'd see the statues and I think oh what if they came to life and this film does it so my inner child was like oh my god <laughs> so you know I was really I felt like a kid again watching this film most of the original characters are back in this film and I felt like it was kind of a good thing but also a bad thing because it didn't give enough screen time for some of the new characters so in the original characters we've got uh, Steve Coogan and Owen Wilson back you know as the cowboy and you know the the Roman soldier and I think they're just fun together and you know this time it really includes the monkey and so the three of those characters are, are just a good giggle really a really good giggle just throughout the film. I think Rami Malek is just adorable oh I watch him and I just swoon I think he is just great casting he is just perfect for you know this Egyptian pharaoh he just really has this wonderful look and he's very funny and he had this one line in this film that just made me just burst out laughing so much and I was just like oh I love you <laughs> Of course, oh, we've got Robin Williams playing just the great character that he's of the president and he really nails that character, but it, it really is emotional to watch this, him in this film, you know, knowing that it's like one of his last ones and it, it was hard and I'm, I'm just going to put it out there, very emotional, but also in a way, probably a really nice last film to end on. So then the new characters, we've got the likes of Ben Kingsley playing the Pharaoh, which is like Rami Malek's dad, <laughs> and you kind of think, oh this is going to be awesome, isn't it? And then it, it, he comes along and it's he completely underplays it. It's like he's bored and he can't be arsed. He was just there like, oh, what am I doing here? Like clearly the agent has pushed that one because he did not want to be there you could see it in his face and it was just one of those moments where it was just like what was that that was just not needed <laughs> he did not need that in this film so that was a huge huge disappointment but to make up for the huge disappointment had one of the most fantastic cameos in this film that i didn't know about and i'm not going to spoil it i'm not going to say anything other than I jumped out of my seat and I was so ecstatic it was incredible so I'm so happy that I managed to avoid this cameo because it was wonderful and I was all fuzzy afterwards so thank you for that so the best character of the film and the best thing of the film has to be Tan Stevens I am so in love with this man now <laughs> I must say he didn't have enough screen time in my eyes he could have just like been in the entire film with all the scenes and that would have just made my day because he nailed it he knew exactly what he was doing in this film and he's just brilliant he 
plays Sir Lancelot and he just, ah, uh, those piercing eyes. <laughs> Which cracked me up because there is actually a joke in the film about his eyes, which I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> he is incredible. He's got the, he's just charismatic. He, he just owned it. It's like he just put on the suit and was just like, oh, I'm Sir Lancelot, <laughs> strutting around, and it was just awesome to watch and you know the fact that Sir Lancelot got to do all these fight scenes brought out my inner child I was just like this is amazing <laughs> you know so it was just like there's a knight and he's fighting a dinosaur <laughs> how exciting is that so well done Dan Stevens for stealing the show in Night of the Museum it was amazing I just think he really lifted the energy of the film just beautifully like it like I said it was going very calm and it was collected and that was really lovely about the film but obviously it needed to go somewhere from there and it did Dan Stevens managed it so it was just this great feeling to just be like oh I'm really enjoying this it's really lovely it's a nice film so far and then it was like Sir Lancelot it's like Whoa! <laughs> no I'm really excited and then you know it kept it up throughout the film. I think this film rounded up the final instalment of the trilogy really nicely and just respectfully. <laughs> <laughs>